in my book, From Charm to Harm, I have a lot of the, the tactics of emotional abuse. And what I've done is I put names to them because I think it's really important to name some behavior because it's a lot easier to identify if it has a name. So one of the names that we're mostly all familiar with is um, red flags. Okay. I like to call red flags indicators because that's how my father taught me about other people uh, to watch for indicators, but it's really red flags and red flags are warning signs that there's trouble ahead. If you get involved with someone and get into a relationship with them, indicators happen when abusers sort of peek out from behind their polished image and they show you who they really are. Let me give you some, some tactics, some things to look out for in um, someone that you're just starting to see or getting into a relationship, it's a new relationship, or if you're already in a relationship with someone. These are indicators or red flags that you better think twice about being in this relationship. All right, so if they humiliate you, put you down, or make fun of you in front of other people, if they disregard your opinions, your needs, your suggestions, your feelings, if they use sarcasm or teasing to put you down, to make you feel bad about yourself, and then if you confront them and say, well, that was hurtful, then they, they accuse you of being too sensitive in order to make an excuse or deflect from their abusive treatment. Some other abusive tactics, you know, they always have to be right. And usually, you know, you're the person that's wrong. They're always right. They don't consider your opinion. They might uh, point out your flaws, your mistakes, your shortcomings. They accuse or blame you of things that aren't true. This kind of behavior in a relationship, let me tell you, love is a verb. Love is a, a commitment. And it's a commitment to someone to, to care about them, to care about their well-being, to love, honor, and respect that person. If this person is treating you badly in your relationship and making you feel bad about yourself, that's not love. And you have to understand that. So it's really important for you to look for these indicators.